What's up, everybody? I had a request for some people who apparently haven't saw the videos on how to sideload, and I'm not sure if they just haven't looked or not, but I, I figured I'd go ahead and do another little video on how to sideload and uh, the Aptoid PB version. All right, so first things first, we're going to have to get the Aptoid, so... You're going to search for Aptoid TV on Google. You're going to go to their website. <clears throat> install Aptoid TV. It's going to download the APK to wherever your save location is. If you have a Windows 10 or Windows device, it's going to save it in the downloads directory unless you've changed that. Okay. So, next, you're going to have to install ADB. Now, I'm going to recommend Taco Tech. He has a great ADB setup. Uh, I'll share a link to his video on how to install ADB because it's there's a lot of different versions on how to do it. But the way that he does it, it's going to install it, I think, natively so that you can just kind of run it from anywhere. But once you do that and you have ADB installed, you're going to go in your command prompt, change your directory to wherever yours is. I put mine on the C drive root directory. And then we're going to CD into ADB. Now we're in there. Okay. Once you're at this moment, we're going to have to do a few things on your mobile device. Go in on your phone or whatever device you're using to, you know, control your Oculus app. And I'm going to open it up and show you where it's at. You're going to go over to the settings tab. You're going to click on your go in the settings where it, you know, it'll connect to it and everything. Connected. Okay. You're going to click more settings and then you're going to go to developer mode right there and you're going to turn that on once you see developer mode in the oculus app on you can close out of that and you're good to go now you're going to plug in your oculus go into your pc via micro usb cable once you have that you're going to type in adb devices and it's going to say list of devices attached I don't have mine plugged in right now I should actually have it plugged in but I don't it's going to start up ADB and if you don't have anything showing up yet uh, there are a few things it should reset I usually run it two times and the, the first time it starts it up and the second time it'll list the devices It'll say a device right here, you know, list of devices attached, and it'll have like some numbers, and that's your that's your Oculus headset. Next step, that file we downloaded earlier. Okay. You're gonna find that file. And you're gonna put it on the root directory of your computer put it on the drive c and you're going to rename it one dot apk okay let me show you guys just so be clear on this put it on c drive okay we have aptoid tv down here now rename that to one dot apk Continue. It's going to ask, okay, now you have that 1.apk. Over here in the command prompt, you're going to type in adb install c colon backslash 1.apk. And you're going to hit enter. It's not going to install on mine because I don't have a device attached, but no devices or emulators found. adb error failed. You know, there's nothing to install it to. 
but if my phone or my headset or any other Android device was connected, it would push that over. And you're gonna have to wait a few seconds. Because when you do that, it's gonna, it's gonna say sent and you're gonna, you know, it's gonna kinda look like it froze for a second, but it's not. Give it about 10 minutes. Go install the app and that's it. Once you have that done, that's it. You'll go into your TV room on your Oculus Go headset and you'll notice that there is a new app installed on the bottom row Aptoid TV and from there you do not have to sideload anything else hope that helps some people